it allowed me to open up to hear my thoughts more clearly hear my intuition and be able to follow it hear the divine guidance that i was getting and it just held more space for my thoughts because it wasn't clouded with a bunch of low vibes you know Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I wanted to have a nice intimate conversation with you guys just about things I've been doing to get myself back in alignment, things I've been doing to get back on track. I feel like with the ebbs and flows of life, we have to work really hard to maintain our vibration until you get good at it and it becomes just like second nature to you, which is obviously a work in progress. Life throws things at us, there's things that happen. And as I'm committed to healing, I feel like it's super important to fill myself up with things that make me feel good from the inside, with things that really pour into my spirit, mind, body, soul, wellness. I got my green on, this beautiful emerald green. It makes me feel beautiful, makes me feel like a goddess. It's giving heart chakra energy. It's giving healing energy. Flow, flow, flow. Make sure that you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can see more self-care content. I talk a lot here about my journey with holistic health, my journey with wellness, and just overall with sacred womanhood, with divine femininity, and just like I said, taking care of myself. So definitely if those are things that interest you or if you're on your own journey to being a sacred woman and just pouring into yourself, definitely hang around, join the family. It's a village here, so come, have fun, stay a while. I'm so excited for what's in store. So when it comes to alignment, I feel like alignment is something that is second nature to us. We get pulled out of alignment from things that are going on in the world, life, job, family, friends, relationships, all the things. And we have to really, really stay centered and stay grounded so that you can show up as your true, most authentic self for yourself so that you can have joy in every moment. I feel like I'm just at a place in my life where I have worked really hard at my healing and I've gone through so many evolutions and, and just spiritual upgrades and so being in a healed space, being in a calm, joyful state of mind is super important to me and just making sure that I'm a being of light in any space that I enter and just anywhere that I go in life, just making sure that from the inside out light is emanating through me. I feel like that right there is one of the biggest keys to happiness and to joy for me personally and truthfully i feel like for us all i feel like as sacred women it's super super important to show up for yourself and i think and i feel like a lot of times when we get caught up in life you can kind of start backsliding and without realizing it you take these one degree turns. I learned that in the way of integrity, which I'll talk to you guys about in a bit, but you take these one degree turns away from your inner truth and away from showing up for yourself. And then you could just kind of wake up and be like, whoa, what's going on, you know? And so we have a responsibility to ourselves and of course to the most high to show up for ourselves and just make every moment count, live an authentic life, live in high vibrations, be a good quality person, be somebody that just emanates light, somebody that is joy filled and yeah i just feel like life life is going life okay like the ebbs and flows are definitely going to ebb and flow but i think being able to flow and not fight what's going on and just really be able to embrace every moment and be in the fullness of every moment following our intuition is key so when it comes to things that i do to help me stay in alignment i feel like it's kind of important to give you guys so when it comes to staying in alignment and what I do when I feel myself kind of falling off track, I feel like it's important to give you guys a quick little backstory, a quick little energetic update. So last week on Friday was actually my dad's 60th birthday. My dad has since elevated from Earthside. He's an ancestor. As you can see, I have pictures of my daddy over there. Um, and it was a tough day for me. I a tough week for me. It was so interesting because like, as I was going throughout the week, I felt, I just didn't feel good. I felt heavy. I felt like there was a cloud over my head, but I, I couldn't pinpoint why. I, I, I didn't anticipate that it would be a sad thing for me because I really celebrate the fact that my dad has spiritually elevated. I've learned so many beautiful lessons in life from my dad's transition, learning what it means to be more godlike and really getting committed to my spiritual journey through his transition. And of course, he was really sick, so it, it wasn't a, 
it wasn't like a wanting to keep keep him on earth any longer than he needed to be here type of thing um but that's still my dad i'm still a human and you know sometimes these feelings just flow and you don't know what you're gonna do or how you're gonna feel about it you can't really anticipate that and i feel like that was really real for me and so yeah last week was tough for me last week was tough and it just really carried all the way throughout this week and then i think just with the busy world and all the things that life pulls at us for from work to family things to whatever you got going on to the energy that we get in when we don't show up for ourselves it just was manifesting in front of my life and manifesting in front of my faith and it was not joy and so i was i allowed myself to feel that for a little bit i allowed myself to feel my feelings and not run away from my feelings i feel like that's very very important but i also really took time to really 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 just stay plugged into source and just really get rooted and figure out like what is going on with we, with me and just really figure out like how am i feeling what am i doing or what am i not doing that's contributing to how i'm feeling and what can i do to help bring myself back into alignment and pull myself back together so that's what i really wanted to talk to you guys about today i feel like it's so important to have your spiritual practices and to have different lifestyle habits in integrated into your lifestyle you know and i believe that showing up for yourself in the little moments and really making it routine i don't know if routine is the word i want to use because that sounds kind of like forced but making it healthy habits and making it a part of your lifestyle i feel like is super super important and just just overall mind body soul wellness our mind can really play tricks on us and can really take you into places that you have to really fight to get out of and i think to that point when i started feeling myself feeling these feelings and not knowing what to do with them or not knowing how to not let them consume me so to speak i think the first thing that i did that was really really important that i didn't even consciously realized well the first thing i did was hold space for my feelings but the second thing i did that was so important that i really at the time wasn't even consciously aware of the fact that i was doing was ask for help and i think this right here is such a beautiful thing because as someone who is very independent has been very independent so since a very young age it can be very hard for me to ask for help it can be very hard for me to work through some of those some of those childhood mental complexes where your brain starts telling you these lies that's why healing is so imperative about asking for help and people thinking that you're needy or people thinking that you know they got a lot going on and whatever the case may be and one thing i know for absolute certain is that it really does take a village and i am so blessed and so grateful for the way that my village shows up for me and i'm so honored to be a part of my village and to be able to give and receive that love freely to my family to my friends to my village it means the world to me and so on my dad's birthday when i felt myself kind of going through those things and then other things kind of played out that morning that put me into a not the not the best mental state i actually called my uncle and it just it just crossed my mind i was feeling it and i said okay kyra like i'm not gonna let this swallow me what do i need to do how can i show up for myself in this moment like and I just phoned a friend, so I called my uncle. I shot him a text message to see if he had some time to chat. He said yes, he said he would be waiting on my call. I picked up the phone and he just really held space for me. He let me express how I was feeling and what I was thinking and what I was going through and he just really helped to validate my feelings and to just be there for me, lend a listening ear more than anything. And I think that was so comforting for me because again, I feel like sometimes our feelings and our emotions can just swallow you up and you're inside of it so it, it kind of can structure obstructs your view it gets a little things get a little fuzzy and it, it gets a little weird right and so he really just held space for me he just spoke life back into me reminded me that i'm a child of god and reminded me that you know tears are really healing and that they're cleansing and so 
that was so so big for me i really really needed that and i really appreciated that and as the days went on i called my grandma yesterday or the day before yesterday we talked on the phone for like two hours and i just had that safe maternal energy that i really needed i was able to just really talk to her and lean on her and she lended a listening ear and we had a beautiful conversation and it just really helped me to feel safe. I feel like family is everything and I'm learning that more and more the older that I get and just not to take anybody for granted, to value every moment and be grateful for every moment because none of this is promised, okay? We all are on divine assignment and we all will leave this earth one day and so being able to just sit in the fullness of those moments and even if you can't be physically close to your family, being able to pick up the phone and call them or call your friends, call your loved ones is super, super important. So I really feel like asking for help, even though I didn't realize until I was kind of reflecting and writing this stuff down, that really was a really big thing. And I would just encourage any of you, if you're ever going through something or if you're not really sure where to turn, Ask for help, you know, just just go to people that you trust. People that you know will lend a listening ear and honor yourself by holding space for yourself and validating your feelings enough to know that you are worthy, you have every right to share this information with people, you have every right to just freely express yourself, you deserve somebody who's gonna listen to you, you deserve for your feelings to be heard and and you don't have to carry that alone. I think that's the biggest thing, right? I know, I know, I know that God is with me, that the divine is with me always, and I'm never carrying this alone. But it that don't mean that it don't get heavy, you know? And there's something about being able to talk to people in the physical and touch and feel people in the physical that can provide a level of calmness. Nothing close to comparing how divine calmness and of course again just that that divine relationship and really leaning on the divine can just bring you through but it really really helped me in that moment to just breathe and woo side out another key piece of being in alignment and staying in alignment is treating your temple as a sacred temple your body temple from the inside to the outside and your temple where you live where you reside the place that you roam right and so cleaning up my diet and being conscious of what i was consuming eating lightly so that i really could hear that divine clarity and that divine guidance and i didn't have all this heavy food weighing on me messing with my emotions making me groggy and making me tired and just like putting me deeper into that that mind state and also cleaning my home i think cleaning my home is so so therapeutic for me because a clean home represents to me a clear mind it represents clarity it represents peace and it's a reflection of what you have going on internally so i think taking that step to just push yourself to show up for yourself in the small things clean your house light some candles open the windows let the fresh air come in that right there is really really big I was drinking a lot of green juice, drinking a lot of water, eating fruit, eating pretty light in the rising and just really allowing myself to hold that space for myself. That was super key because it allowed me to hear God clearly and just be one with what I was thinking and how I was feeling and the divine guidance that I was receiving. I also journal a lot and I think that is a really great thing to help you stay in alignment because it helps you kind of keep track of how you're feeling and you can go back and look at previous journal entries whether you like to write it down in a journal or type it in your notes on your phone. Sometimes I also record voice memos if something's on my mind and it's just easier for me to just flow and speak that way. So that is a really beautiful outlet even if you want to burn it like say you have a lot on your mind and heavy thoughts you can write it down and when you're finished writing it down don't read it again burn it release it let the energy go or you can journal things that are on your mind that you do want to keep track of and just allow yourself like I said to be able to have that track record so you can go back and see how far you've come and see that you are much more in alignment than you think you are and being real with yourself and authentic with how you feel I feel like my relationship with myself has evolved so much from journaling and just showing up for myself in that way I am an avid reader I love to read I've 
loved to read since I was a little girl and then somewhere along the way I kind of lost my footing with that when it came to, you know, moving and shaking in high school, college, feeling myself. Once reading started to become like a real hefty load requirement and, and other things started to take place, you know, social media and all that stuff kind of switches out for what you give your attention to. I feel like I lost my way, but I recently within the past two years probably have found my love for reading again. And it has been so beautiful reading books that speak to my soul, whether you like to read self-help books or memoirs or, or whatever may speak to you. I just finished reading The Way of Integrity by Martha Beck, which is a phenomenal, phenomenal book. I really recommend that everybody check that book out. It's actually in Oprah's book club. That's how I found out about it. The Way of Integrity was such an amazing book and it basically just talks about being in integrity, which means being in alignment and being in perfect harmony and how as we go on our journeys through life, we start to step further and further away from integrity as we start to step into what the ego wants and as we start to step into all the flashy glitz and glam of the world. So I feel like reading, soul food, things that are good for my soul is super, super important. I also recently listened to More Myself, A Journey. Journey. That's what it's called by Alicia Keys on Audible. And that book was so, so transformative. I actually saw this chat she had with Oprah where Oprah was saying never has she read a memoir that made her want to be more herself instead of wanting to be more like the person who wrote the memoir and it was just a beautiful book that talked about her rise and her career and where she came from and how the industry tried to transform her into somebody that wasn't authentic to who she was and wasn't in alignment with who she was at the core and at first she did what most people do try to assimilate and try to change little bits about yourself you don't even realize consciously that you're doing it and how much impact it has on you and then when she had to backtrack and then her journey through love and through motherhood and through being her most authentic self is really, really a phenomenal book. And I really recommend that you listen to it. Buy the book. It's a great book, but something about listening to it and hearing her narrate it herself with the piano and with her loved ones doing different features and intros to the chapters, it was so, so beautiful. I highly, highly recommend. Along with reading more, I've also been, like I said before, extra conscious of what I consume. So I actually stopped listening to music as much. I didn't completely cut out music, but I've really switched out low vibrational TV. I don't really watch TV, but I switched out like low vibrational TV shows that I used to sit around and watch or YouTube videos of stuff that just really wasn't serving me to podcasts that really stimulate my mind. Earn Your Leisure podcast is something that I'm really tapped into right now and I really, really love. And I love the conversations with 19 Keys. You guys should definitely check out his channel and check out the Earn Your Leisure series as well. And also, like I said, of course, the Audible book. So when I'm driving in the car or when I'm in the house, when I'm on the airplane, instead of listening to music, I used to fly y'all and listen to like two whole albums, listen to whatever music I felt like. Sometimes I would read, but most of the time if I had my AirPods in, I would just listen to music. Now, when I'm on the plane, I either have YouTube videos of interviews or podcast episodes already downloaded, or I'm listening to an Audible book. So it really helps because when I'm up in the air, it's just me and my thoughts, and it really is a beautiful thing. With that in mind, I feel like as I mentioned, staying away from the low vibrational stuff is super, super key. I feel like the low vibrational stuff as in TV shows that don't serve you, scrolling on social media, looking at what other people are doing, judging yourself or however that may manifest for you is not healthy. Judging yourself, judging others, wishing that you could have somebody else's life, not healthy. Um, watching stuff that's toxic, being a part of toxic conversations. The reason I stopped listening to music as much was actually because, like I said, being in alignment and really committing to staying in alignment and being becoming the best version of myself, I felt like you start to get more conscious of what you consume, right? And so you start to listen to the stuff that you're hearing in music, the stuff that you'd be singing your little heart out to and rapping all these lyrics without even thinking twice about it, and you start to become more conscious. And I started to become more conscious of what it was that I was hearing and what I was spitting back out and saying. And it's like, whoa, hold up. You know, I think just 
Again, energetic accountability. I'm not saying that you need to cut out music. I'm not saying that music is bad by any stretch of the word, but again, just being conscious. Like, I love a good vibe. I love the way that music makes me feel and how it can really take you over, but I definitely feel like it's important to be balanced. And when you're in a more sensitive state or when you're working to find your alignment and find your joy, really being tapped into what you're consuming and monitoring that is major, major key. It allowed me to open open up to hear my thoughts more clearly, hear my intuition and be able to follow it, hear the divine guidance that I was getting and it just held more space for my thoughts because it wasn't clouded with a bunch of low vibes, you know? And last but not least, I take a lot of spiritual baths. So essentially taking baths with herbs or with regular stuff that you use in your baths. I like to use hemp seed. I like to use the hemp Epsom salt and the hemp seed bubble bath in my baths and just relax, light a candle. I have my crystals. I play my meditation music. I just relax and vibe out and it really cleanses and like purges the heavy thoughts that you may have or the things you have going on in your mind. And spiritual baths are amazing for spiritual women, for spiritual people, period. But the water cleanses us. The ocean waves wash us over. The water is so healing and cleansing for us. And so I definitely learned this from Queen Afua and from her teachings in Sacred Woman and in the Heal Thyself book. But spiritual baths have been so big and such a game changer for me because like I said, they just cleanse me, wash me over, make me anew. and. It really is just beautiful. Anytime I have a lot going on that takes my self-care to a whole new level. I do a mask, I do a steam, I get in the bath, I relax, I journal when I get out, I check my energy when I get out, I relax and pour into myself, lather myself up, put some nice pajamas on. Baths are so cleansing and they're so healing for our spirit. So I definitely make sure to keep them in routine, keep them as part of my ritual and also amp them up whenever I'm feeling low, feeling like I need a refill, uh, an energetic refill. Staying committed to ritual is key for alignment, I believe. And what I mean by staying committed to ritual is staying committed to your rising ritual, staying committed to your self-care, staying committed to the different things that I kind of touched on in this video to make sure that you're staying in alignment and make sure that you're showing up for yourself in a way that makes your heart sing and gives you joy. And in a way that's like real soul care, not superficial to make you feel better on the surface level, like get your hair done, get your nails done. Those are amazing things too, but you gotta take care of your soul. So those are the big things that I have been tapping into and pouring into recently. I hope that this video was inspiring to you, helpful to you. I hope that if you are going through something or if you find yourself not in alignment that you know that it's okay, don't beat yourself up, don't feel disappointed in yourself, just get back up and keep on moving. You can do it. I believe in you. You are supported. You are loved. You are important. You are safe. You are sacred. And I'm wishing each of you well on your journey. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon.